Hello everybody, what's up? How are we doing? Wild Shift. It's very rare that you get to see me on camera when we do one of these videos, but hey, today's a special day. We've got ourselves the Battle Pass being leaked in the public test server, and I thought, what better way than to show it off on YouTube for all of you guys, right? I mean, hey, I'm a generous guy. I'm just playing. Let's just dig into it, shall we? A couple of very interesting updates on this here patch, at least as it's on PTS, and I will be candid. I've already unlocked everything, and then I got the idea of, well, I probably should do this as a YouTube video. So let's just dig over, and we'll take a look at what the screen looks like together, shall we? First and foremost, you'll notice there is a new currency. Currency of crowns added into the game. And you'll see at the very top right, this will show you your battle pass progress, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, of course, like any other battle pass, like the one in Paladins, for instance, you can either just get some crowns for free by leveling, or you can buy the battle pass and you can rank your way through it. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't want to wait your way through it, you can unlock levels by using your crown currency to do that. Really sweet feature. Other things to the UI, you'll notice that your solo duo and your squad levels are all listed with a little pop-out menu as well, which is really sweet. You got your bronze level four here because I'm an awesome player, obviously, in the PTS. And it shows you how many wins you have. And I'm sure as you hit the matches, it'll show you how many kills you have, which is, I think, really, really sweet. But let's dig into the really cool stuff. Of course, if you want the alpha pack, the alpha pack is still listed in the shop, so it's still not gone yet. You can still get it. All of those emotes and uh, sprays and everything is all there for you still. But let's take a look at what the Battle Pass has to offer. We'll go back to page numero uno. The first thing you could unlock at level one is actually going to be a chicken skin, which I'm actually very happy with. Usually it's like, all right, we'll have something basic like a spray or an avatar. But they actually give you a skin just for getting the Battle Pass. So the Great Eggscape. Ah, you, high res, you're so clever. That's going to be the first chicken skin that you can unlock. And I say first chicken skin because as you'll see as we go through, there are some progressions inside of the Battle Pass progression. Spray number one coming out. It's going to be a claw mark spray, which I think will look really cool. Especially if you do it right on top of a body. It looks like you slashed it right through. I like, I like that. That's hot. It's real hot. It's bloody. I like it. It's gory. The third is going to be, again, the start of the new avatars. Not... The Last Airbender, and not the Avatar from James Cameron. But this is a Warrior Avatar. It's pretty sweet. All the classes you'll see have Avatars there at level 3. Level 4, Meteor Shower Contrail. Awesome. Skydive effects. So it's going to be a red effect for you there instead of the normal blue. It's pretty sweet. I guess orange if you're being specific. Level 5, you'll notice if you're doing the free, you'll get yourself a handful of crowns, which I believe it's giving 300. Oh, it's an avatar. Pardon me. So you get a crown avatar at level 5. It's pretty sweet. And if the you also get engineer avatar if you're in the gold edition of the battle pass. Level 6, you'll be getting a, a 100 currency. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you very much. Then you're going to get an avatar assassin. And then here's the first set of skins for the warrior. So the way that they're going to be doing skins, it looks like it's going to be class specific. So you're going to be getting like, for instance, in here, this is a warrior skin, the primal champion level one of that. So keep that in mind what that looks like. The thing that I enjoy the most is that it's, you know, people are worried that, okay, as you add skins to the game, is it going to be difficult to tell apart the different characters? I think if they could keep it to the same color scheme of the characters that are currently in, then I think it'll be fine. You can see this one's pretty much all red. So you'll still, by association, see it's red. It's a warrior. There you go. The next one up will be the avatar for the mage. And then you see the next first new item of a different element, the titles. This is New Blood as the title. It has a little portrait there. I imagine that will likely show up as you kill somebody. And then again, you also get 100 currency in the free edition for hitting level 10 there. Level 11, the Hunter will be getting the last, I think, the last Avatar for the classes. And then you see the level 2 version of the Primal Champion. So it actually adds a little skull necklace around here as it kind of progresses. That's a pretty interesting way of doing the skins. They just kind of keep additioning on, or uh, adding on, additioning isn't a word, adding, <laughs> adding on new effects and new elements to the skin. I like that. Another 100 currency at 13. 14, the chicken skin starts to hatch. It's cracked now, so you get little feet, and there's a little tail back there you can kind of see, too. It's pretty cute. And then you see your first loading screen. That's for the Primal Warrior. I think that looks gorgeous, by the way. Great job by the art team there. And then in the free edition, you also get your first common, or I guess rare emote. It's the celebration emote, little hip-hip hooray. 
a little couple claps right there. Level 16 as you move through. Primal Champion number three. You see the hat has changed a little bit. We'll take a look at this as uh, we go in and see them side by side. But another level for the Warrior skin. Another avatar, the T-Rex avatar. Really cool art done there. And then you have the Emote Salute. This is a common emote. Pretty sweet. Another spray, the Skullosaurus, pretty nifty. Another nice little primal addition to the, to the to the content this way. And then level 20, some more currency at the common level for the battle pass. And then a new emote this way, the sob story. Womp womp. Very cleverly done. Level 21, the second effect on the contrail. Skydive effect, I guess is what they're calling it now. Meteor Shower 2, so a fire effect has been added to the character as he's falling. Pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. Level uh, 22 be another currency. Another avatar. A little victory box. Ba -ba -da -ba. And then level 4 of the Primal Champion skin. He adds a little skull thing on his shoulder uh, there, which is really, really cool. Again, adding more. I wonder how the hitbox is affected. Hopefully the hitbox aren't affected by that. Otherwise, I will not be using that. Ooh, thinking. Shift is already taking the competitive thoughts. Why not? Already does. Level 25, another loading screen, and another spray. Ha! Huh. I love everything about this spray. This is so dope. Ty Tyrannosaurus Radical, easy for me to say. 26, another emote. It's my favorite. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Just let everyone out there to see it. I love it. And then another emo, uh, pardon me, not emote, a chicken skin. Now we have fully hatched. We get this little cute little dinosaur hatch. Like, ah, oh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it a lot. Heat, uh, pardon me, heat. Heart in your hands is another a spray coming into the game. Pretty sweet. Another avatar, chicken avatar. And then the final skin. It has add a, adds a little recolor effect. Some purple mixed in with the red and kind of orange. And then the skull gets a little bloody upside on, this, on the top of the head as well for the final part of the skin for the warrior. And then you also get another 100 credits. Another spray, beware of dino. It's pretty cool squint. I like that. More currency and a new mount. Here we go. First edition of a new mount. This is the Cobalt Charger. Might be looking familiar to some of you Paladins fans out there. And then we go into the Running Man. Hey, hit him with it. Bang. Get him. Get him. Oh, baby. Yeah. Love it. That's dope. Dope emote right there. Avatar flag. Super cool. I love the flag. Super, super awesome. We also have the Sky Scoundrel. This is another new skin set. This is for the Assassin. You can tell... Mostly based off of the uh, kind of balclava he's got put on. I wish this was a purple jacket or something. Because, again, like the the, uh, the class set is purple for the uh, for the assassin. And this is, like, not. And I think that they need to stick to a color scheme if I were to give a critique on it. Just so it's very identifiable. Yes, you can still see the balclava. But I just worry that as we get further and further in, people might not be able to recognize what the classes they're playing up against. Um, unless they're very familiar with the game as it continues. So I will let's see this have a purple hue to it in some fashion. Might be some feedback that I'll try to toss around wherever possible. The Primal Champion title. Second title in with a little, uh, looks like a little claw right there. Pretty sweet, a little talon. More credits. And then we have the final edition in the chicken skin. This is the missing link. How cute. It's just so cute. I love it. I love it. So cute. And then we have another emote here, Smooth Moves, little Michael Jackson thrower. Hit him with it. Hey, and bam. Loving it. Pretty so. Loving it, loving it. Mad Lizard Spray. Pretty cute. Awesome job, art team. 100 crowns there. Chicken Dance Emote. Had a figure is going to come at some time. Hey. <laughs> oh, he puts his little figure in his mouth. Oh, it's so cute. Get him with the hotness. Bang. Hit him with it. Ah. Level two of the Sly Scoundrel adds a hat to the mix. Pretty sweet. Very Jurassic Park-esque. Clever girl. This is probably my favorite spray, though. Look at that little happy dino. Oh, he's so cute. Love him. More credits at 46, 47. Super awesome skydive effect. It adds a smoke trail into the fire. That's actually insane. I love that. That's hot. Quite literally, fire. Then we've got the Realm Lord title, which will... Have the scaly background and the crown on it. Cool, sweet. Chicken trophy avatar. Sly Scoundrel 3 adds a little feather into the hat. Super awesome. Very appropriate. Loving it. More credits at level 50. 52. This is an awesome spray, too. Smashing spray. It's a big old footprint. I love it. Super cool. 
And then we have a new addition to the mountain category. This is a massive raptor. How about that? That's so, that's so sick. And we've got a crying chicken avatar and spray. And then as we finish it out, Sly Scoundrel 4 has a little chicken trophy on the back end. It's pretty sweet. And then how about the most extra emote ever? That is so extra. Let me just let that sit there for a second. <laughs> That's wild. The run box spray. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. And then the extinction event for the last skydive effect. That's going to add just a green hue to it. It's cool. I like the fire one more personally, but that's still an awesome effect for sure. And then you have the currency, it's got more currency at 16 than the last five. You get a Raptor's loading screen. The final edition of the Sly Scoundrel, that's going to add a darker color to the jacket. Again, I wish it was purple. I wish there was more purple in this. And there's a little bit of a, a Balclava and Feather edition too. And there needs to be more purple in it. I need to see more purple. More currency. And you got the Apex Predator title. And the final thing is the Apex Predator mount. Super, super awesome. And you can get all that equipped in the armory. So again, you can kind of see the progression here. The great egg scape for the chicken egg goes into the cracked, goes into the hatchling. Oh, so cute. And then goes into the missing link to finish it off. Of course, there's the alpha skin there too, in case you want that. Here are the uh, contrails. The skydive effects starts with meteor shower one, meteor shower two. Add in the fire. The third adds the smoke. And the fourth makes it all green. That's pretty sick. I love that. Love that. And then for the classes. Yeah. Classes. You can see it all here. So here's the primal champion one. The second adds that necklace to it. The third adds that uh, the helmet change. The fourth has the shoulder pad. And the fifth has the recolors on it. There's a little purple in there. It's pretty sick. Liking that. And the Assassin one as well. Sly Scoundrel one. Two adds the hat. Three adds the feather. Four adds the chicken trophy. And five adds some recolor into it. And those are the only two classes that have skins. There's no skins for the engineer at the moment. None for the mage. And none, of course, then for the hunter yet either. I'm sure those will all be coming in future battle passes. But I really like the way that they've done that. I think that's really, really smart as far as the skins. It's not too much. You still have a core skin. You still feel like you're accomplishing something. You can flaunt something uh, by getting that fourth and fifth level. Add those little extras you can feel personally proud of. Some people will notice, but damn, that guy's got all that grind going on. I know it. I love it. It's super cool. Uh, and then, of course, you have your mounts as well. The Alpha Pack, like I mentioned, is still uh, purchasable in the shop if you want to get in on that. But that's the way the Battle Pass is working so far. Really cool stuff. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm hoping that uh, I get a chance to get into the live server and get this going because the PTS has been a little slow. I love the UI additions. These are really clean, really polished. I love it a lot. You can get the information if you need it. Otherwise, it's not cluttering your screen. Let this be the focus. You can see some of the additions in the background. I think this is all beautifully laid out. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. That's all for me, though. I'll catch you guys in game. I got to go play. I got to go get this stuff going. Get some live content out for you guys. I'll catch you guys next time. And until then, hope that you keep holding it down.